Hey, good morning. Chris, here in Oklahoma. So I bought this bent dent and scratch fridge nine years ago at Sears in the back corner, blue light special. And I was wondering how much power this old dog used. You know, I'd, I've had this thing for nine years and I've taken it up to Idaho in the back of a truck with me and back down, cleaned it out, and all that still works. So, right now, I hooked up my kilowatt meter, and without it running, it uses 3.1 watts. And you press amps, it's almost nothing. You go over here, this is, this is what I want to do. I'm going to do a 24-hour test, and it's actually 25, almost 26 hours, and I've only used 1.69 kilowatt hours. Of energy use. So whipped out my electric bill and calculator and Oklahoma charges right now non-peak hours 11 cents per kilowatt hour and I took that 1.69 and multiplied that by 11 and it cost me a whopping 19 cents a day to operate this refrigerator. And then you calculate that into a month, and it's $5.68 a month. But the, the good thing I noticed was the actual voltage that this fridge uses when it's running. There's a, there's a startup voltage that's pretty substantial. You know, it beeps, and it's like maybe 1,500, 2,000 watt startup. But then it stabilizes down to about, 100 and, uh, about 135 watts. You know, just over an amp, which is pretty freaking good. So the whole goal is to get this on solar power and get rock and roll and save this <laughs> or, or a lot of this. And this is just one appliance. You know, I'm going to have have you know most of the kitchen here and the lighting and all, all hooked up. So, all right, just thought I'd whip out this quick morning video to show you. I like this old kilowatt deal. I bought this, I don't know how many years ago, long ass time ago, and just pulled it out and, and been playing with it. All right, you guys have a great Easter Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.